Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm back. I know it's, it seems like it's been a really long time since I've updated um, or since I've uploaded a video. Um, and basically I've been so busy and so tired. I think I'm like getting sick again. And I basically, anytime that I have a chance to sit down and do a video, I do like two or three. Um, just so I can upload them um, when I get a chance and give you guys something to watch once in a while. If you hear Gracie growling and barking in the background, it is because our neighbors are downstairs. It's literally like 10.30 at night and our neighbors are vacuuming and banging around. I don't know what they're doing. They've decided to clean house at 10.30 at night. I don't know. Um, but I apologize as she gets on your nerves. Um, so today what I'm going to do is talk about, I get a comment on one of my previous videos asking them, to, asking me to do a tutorial on my hair, which I found absolutely hysterical because my hair is the one thing that I have struggled, well not the one thing, but one of the things I have struggled with my entire life. Um, it has caused a lot of issues and um, the teen years were very difficult for me um, with my hair. I have very coarse thick hair. I get it thinned every four or five weeks um, as well as trimmed up and um, it's really thick, coarse, it's kind of wavy, curly, um, very strange hair. Every time I go to a new hair person they're like, you have the thickest hair I've ever seen. I'm like, yeah, I know, thanks, I deal with it every day. Um, and right now what I've kind of got going on is it's a little bit shorter in the back than it is in the front. Um, I don't know if you can really tell but um, that I'm trying to like figure out different looks to like make it look not as poofy because my hair tends to like get huge. So um, I'm my tutorial isn't I don't use like styling tools really only when I have like a ton of time, which is not very often. So I'll just tell you the products that I use and what I do. But again, I do have naturally wavy hair, so like my hair is gonna have more of a you know of a wave to it than people who are have straight hair and are trying to get this look um, but first in the shower what I do is I start out using the Pantene dry to moisturize curly shampoo and I swear by Pantene I've used it for years and years and years I've used tons of shampoos I don't use high-end shampoos because I feel like I have such thick hair I'm gonna go through that stuff like it's like in an instant so I just like want to get a decent price shampoo and these come in like big bottles or small bottles um, so I really like that and then I follow up with the dry to moisturized Pantene curly hair conditioner but like once or twice a week I will use the Pantene deep moisturizing treatment just because I have frizzy hair that gets really dry and I've heard that curly hair girls really aren't supposed to wash their hair except for like twice a week, but that's disgusting to me and I work out a lot. So um, I pretty much always wash my hair with shampoo. Um, the only time I don't is if I haven't worked out that day and I'll just use conditioner. Or if I'm taking two showers in a day, um, my second shower I'll just use conditioner. And that way it'll just add some moisture but won't like be stripping my hair of oils. Because oils are really important. Um, and then, so I get out of the shower and I brush my hair or I comb my hair with a wide tooth comb. This one is from Conair and it just comes from the drugstore. And I never brush my hair unless I'm straightening it. Because... If you, the more you like rake a comb through your hair, it's going to break up the curl and you don't want to do that. You want it as curly as possible. So I only use this and I just, um, well no, first before I comb it, I use Paul Mitchell's The Conditioner, which is a leave-in conditioner. And it's kind of like old school and um, I really can only find it at the hair salon in JCPenney, but um, I don't know, I think some Targets and Walmarts carry it. But um, basically I really like how it moisturizes my hair. If you know of a cheap drugstore brand that has a good leave-in hair conditioner, definitely let me know on that. I've heard that Herbal Essences has a good one, but for some reason I can't find one by me. I've looked in Target and Happy Harry's, or Walgreens, sorry, used to be Happy Harry's, and um, can't 
find it. So let me know if you know where I can get it, if I have to go to Walmart or something. Um, but I use that as a leave-in conditioner. And then I comb through my hair to kind of distribute it evenly. And then while it's still wet, I use the Pantene Curly Curl Shaping Gel, which is like their scrunch gel. It's like extra hold, which I definitely need with my thick hair. Because why I don't wear my hair really long is because it's so thick. The more that, like the longer that it is, it's going to drag my hair down and not be as curly and it's going to straighten out, which I don't want because I, I like to wear my hair curly. It's really easy. Um, so. I put the scrunching gel in and just like work it through my hair and scrunch it while it's still wet. Um, a good tip is to use, instead of scrunching with uh, your like regular bath towel, to use paper towels. And you can use them more than once and use them to scrunch your hair because it's less like harsh on your hair and like won't cause breakage and stuff and it's just, it causes less frizz. So I, that's what I do. And then once I like I'll like get dressed do my makeup and stuff and then as it's starting to dry I'll just use and this is not part of the curly hair series is the Pantene medium to thick hairstyle hairspray and it's anti-humidity and um, spritz that through my hair and again just like kind of scrunch it a little bit and um, just to hold it in place they used to have a hairspray a scrunch spray um, through Pantene for the curly hair girls and I guess they discontinued it because all I can find is like spray hair gel or like the aerosol hairspray but they did have a pump one like this I don't like using aerosol I think it dries out your hair and it's bad for the environment and I it smells <laughs> so um, those are the products that I use if you have any questions or recommendations for me about um, better products that I could use that are still cheap or um, any questions or anything let me know Thank you so much for watching and thank you for requesting and complimenting my hair and I really appreciate it. So I will talk to you very soon in another video. Thank you so much.